never really know what the arc of your character is going to be when you start getting scripts. But both of you guys this season have really juicy roles. You were given so much to work with. Uh, what mm. was it like for you finding out like what your arc was going to be on season two? I was pretty excited. Um, oh, I had a chat with the guys. I was in Australia. And they wanted to talk to me about basically the entry into when you first see Gordo and, and what that would be. Um, I, I leapt at the opportunity of doing something that I'd never done before. Um, but I think, I feel like the first season was like that as well. Like those guys sort of, you know, were writing as we were, as we were doing it. So they, they got time to sort of get to know us and what they thought we could bring to the, to the characters. And then it sort of started happening organically. I guess they had their plot points, but then, man, they gave us some room to play. Um, like you said, just such a, a beautiful opportunity to um, work with a great team and with such juicy characters. To be honest, I, I, I wasn't given a, a really... Um, From the outset. Detailed, like a, yeah, yeah, arc of yeah, what same. would happen this season. Uh, only that we got some fun stuff planned for you kind of, kind of thing. Um, so I, I really didn't, I really didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Um, but I, but I had fun doing it. Completely. Um, what, uh, I am curious, be, the behind the scenes on a, on a show like this, um, can you, can you sort of maybe, is there anything su that surpri would surprise fans of the series to like learn or can you sort of talk about the way it is making this show maybe as compared to other things you've worked on hey, what's it like for you Seth? like for me it's the same stuff like <clears throat> essentially uh, you're I, dealing with yeah. a human with emotions and then you've got a whole bunch of other you know characters that are coming along with their own emotions and you put each yep. other together um yep. and then it becomes about sort of onset you know, compatibility and then how you get along with everyone that's on the floor. To be honest, for me, the, the, the greatest difference in this one was getting shut down in March and then waiting, you know, six, seven months for us to go back uh, into something where we're sort of building, 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 building. You're about to hit sort of the peak of the storytelling and then having like a seven month break and then coming back in straight to the to the pinnacle. Um, I found that difficult to sort of match. And also the fact that you couldn't sort of just freely talk to everyone, like on set, you had your little spot and you couldn't sort of, you know, the, the, the contact or the, you know, personable sort of aspect to storytelling was lost in a sense. And it was sort of, we were isolated and that, that was different from anything that I'd ever worked on. But other than that, um, storytelling is generally the same. Yeah, I, I, I agree really. Um, um, I think, I think, yeah, it, it was Michael and I sort of, I feel like we had a unique position too, because I feel like when we, when the, you know, when we had to go in, when the production had to shut down, um, like Michael said, we were hitting sort of a peak moment for both of our characters that wasn't going to stop. It was just going to ramp up. Um, so, you know, you get into a flow, you have a momentum, you've got the ideas, it's all brewing. Then everything goes away. And then you have to jump back into it to find what that is. Uh, that was challenging. I'm I'm with Michael all the way on that. That was that was new. I mean, we certainly did it to the best of our abilities. Yeah, <laughs> you. I mean, you've seen roll the dice. Seen, I don't so, know. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Oh, I was just going to say that I've seen episodes uh, in the later half of the season, so I think I know what you're talking about. Sure. Right. Yeah. You know, I'll say it like that. So there's a lot of great storylines in season two. Uh, besides your own, what's your favorite storyline? Uh, obviously, besides your own. <laughs> uh, I can't talk about my favorite storyline. Really? Um, yeah. 
I'm very, I'm very curious. I want to. I want to know now. Right. Um, yeah. I got to be honest with you. I really loved watching Michael's stuff. I really, really. I knew what he had to deal with. I knew what he dedicated to this season, and he pulled it off with flying colors and. And I saw it, um, got, and there were some moments too. my, I had left, there were some moments between Jimmy, the younger of the two brothers and you that were just brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, he's, I don't want to give crying. away what that is, but there were just <laughs> nuggets that I was <laughs> laughing out loud yeah. and I replayed it a few times Dude, that I was like, this is funny. incredible. This is awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Too I funny. would um I would say that that you know, knowing what what dedication um uh, Michael put in to the second season, I was really curious how it uh transpired, how it came out. Um and I don't think a damn person's going to be disappointed by it. Yeah, I definitely agree Michael. You did I think actually both of you did such great work in this season and yeah. really I would really love to talk about specifics, but obviously, you know. Yeah, it's tricky, Thank isn't you. it? But yeah, same. I I uh, I had a similar um, experience to Jonesy, not looking at my work, but looking at Jonesy, looking at your stuff. It's it's really solid work. Um, second season, we, geez, we got some opportunities, and and it was so good to see Jonesy take hers. Really shining. So excited for people to see what. Um, what everyone's cooked up for the second run. Definitely. I, I'm going to say uh, congrats with the show getting a season three. I obviously don't know what happens in nine and 10. I don't know if you guys make it or not. I mean, I have no idea, but um, when, what season do you think it's going to be where they introduce a starship? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a wrong question. Word question. Never, yeah, totally. It's a good question. It's definitely a wrong question. Yeah, I just never know what those guys are going to do. Um, even at the start, before before season one, like we didn't get a really clear picture of what was going to come out. The scripts are sort of coming out as we're shooting them. Um, and it was the same with this one as well. You've got an idea. Like I had an entry point. They said, look, this is going to be you when we first see you. And then away we're going to go from there. So for me, it was about trying to get myself sort of. I had about six weeks to get match ready um for the you know the way that we first see gordo and so just sort of ran at that and then on we went with the with the season and, the, and i'm guessing it's going to be the same with three as well you sort of get an entry point it's like uh you know they'll, they'll give you the door and then away you go um, on that note i gotta stop i'm just gonna say sincerely i'm a huge fan of the show you guys did oh, such great you. work um oh, cool. good, luck, good luck with the rest of the interviews thanks a thanks, lot Steve. thank you